Hello everybody, now we know how to create nested types that are advanced, like for example, dictionary side a dictionary, a dictionary side a list, but how to extract all the values from inside, how to get them. We know how to show values when you have the tuples inside the list, but what about structures like that? How to show them all at once using loops? Let's start this lesson from something simple, like for example, extracting values from here. So we have got a key, which is a name, and we have got a value, which are grades, ratings so right, for the key, right, for the person. How to extract it? Well, we'll use the loop for, and then we will invent a variable that will hold each key, and then we will type the name of dictionary and now when we for example print key and we run the module you will notice that we have got each key here printed out right that's because this loop is gonna run until all items are processed right until we go to each item here and well, there are two items because we have got one comma here. So this is the first one, this is the second one, and we have got the key for each rating. But how to get into the value of that key? Well, normally we will pr print it manually like that. Ratings of one, Arcadius. And if we wanted to have an Agnes, we will type something like that. And as you can see, we have got now the ratings, the grades printed out. So we need to type the name of dictionary and then the key, right? So look at this here. We have got here a name of dictionary and we're gonna use the key like that. And as you can see, now we have got grades for each person. We can type something like that. Key, grades, and bam, everything works fine. Our card is great. Two, one, two, three, two, three. The best student ever. So that's how you print simply the dictionary that is single dictionary, right? But hmm, what about situation like that when you have got dictionaries inside a list? How to extract these values? Well, let's remind ourselves how to extract values when you have got simple list with three values like for example John, Mary and Agnes. Normally you will do just something like that Pip, um, for each value inside people three you will just print out value right and a column as you can see, John, Mary, Agnes. That's pretty easy, right? Because there are three items. Loop 4 will run until you extract all these items three times. And each time the value will change to the current value inside the loop. That's pretty straightforward. But what about situation like that? Notice that we've got now what? Each value is now what? A dictionary, right? It is not a simple value like that, it's just a dictionary. Notice that here we had a dictionary, right? In order to extract dictionary, we had to do something like that. So we need to somehow connect this with this. On outside, we have got the list. So we should use probably as an outside loop, this guy, right? But as inside, this thing. So we need to somehow connect it. So let's, for example, copy this thing here like that and now let's think for a second we do something like that for each value this time each value is what it is a dictionary so let's change the naming for dictionary inside people two so right now we are inside the dictionary like that right we want to extract each key so 
for we can leave this key here, but we need to go inside the dictionary, right? So inside the dictionary, like that. And now when we run the module, you will notice that we have got ID. Oh, of course, we need to remove the grades because these are not grades anymore. These are just values. Add colon in order to make it a bit easier to read. ID, mm -hmm. name, John, age, 27, sex, male. Everything works fine, right? So we connect it, uh, writing out the single the dictionary with writing out the single um, list, right? Because we have now list, and inside the list we have got just a dictionary. So when we get into a dictionary, we need to process also dictionary, right? We have got now, uh, so here is a list, right? People do the list. We create a temporary dictionary here. And for each that temporary dictionary, we go through each key inside the dictionary. And we use that key to get into the value of each dictionary, uh, dictionary key, right? <laughs> we could write, for example, here, print dictionary. And you will notice that we just get each dictionary right one two three each of them and because we use the inner loop like that we process each of that dictionary right instead of just writing dictionary we process it we w went through it let's take this under the comment because it's not needed anymore okay that's cool but how to process dictionary inside the dictionary well let's put this under the comment and let's think for a second. So when we do something like that, people of, mm -hmm, and we print it, we'll get a dictionary. If we use the ID and then we use name, we will get the value of that guy who has ID like that and name key name with value like that. So if we change the ID, we'll get the Mary. If we change it to hit, we'll get um, Lori. That's how it works when you do it manually. But of course, if we had many values, we would need to use loop, right? We are lazy, we always should use loops. <laughs> okay, so for each key, like here, inside what? Inside people, let's print out, for example, for a second to see what is inside key. Now, of course, the column. I apologize that I miss them, but when you're writing in many different languages, <laughs> things like that happens. As you can see, we have got now every key so this loop was run as many times as there are dictionaries here right and as many items are here people will give us what will give us entire dictionary because each time <laughs> because well it is a dictionary right we it is a it's people, right? It's how we called our dictionary inside the dictionary. So we got entire structure printed out. And if we do people of key, we will get into what? Hmm. We have got now each dictionary that we are interested in, right? So we need to somehow process this thing. Firstly, I think we should um, type, for example, something like that for the purpose of informing um, our user which ID we are processing. So, for example, ID and then we'll type key, right? Because key is the ID of each person inside people. And then we should, I think, go through 
each dictionary inside, right? So for each in people key, normally when we went to a dictionary, we did something like that, right? So we just, for example, can invent here secondary key, right? And now we're just gonna print people of key of secondary key, right? So normally we did something like a print and then we used uh, people of hmm. This is our key. And now we need a secondary key, which is, for example, name, right? And this is the same here. And now when you run this, and of course, colon, you'll notice that we have got for each ID a person with all its content. Great. We can, of course, say, for example, secondary key in order to show each label name, a column to make it more clear. Everything works fine. It might seem hard, but don't worry, really. It just takes practice to do things like that. If you, after finishing this, this lesson, start to practice this, I'm sure that you're gonna do it without any problems after, for example, 10 times. Right, you need to do it at least 10 times, but don't do it 10 times in a row. But for example, after finishing this lesson, close it and try to write everything from the easiest extraction, right, to the hardest one, like that one. And if you have problems, then open the lecture and see how I did it and then close the lecture and then wait 10 minutes and try to do it again on your own and do it until you get it, okay? That's a really good way to learn. Also, try to back to this topic after, for example, one, two days, a few times. So you do not forget how to do it. Don't worry, really. You need to just practice and you will do it without problems, okay? I will show you now another way of extracting the content of dictionary inside another dictionary using the items method. And this method is faster than this one. So you should know how to do it this way, just in case, or in order to understand what's going on inside. But there is a faster version, which will just run faster. Believe me, it will run faster. Mm -hmm. You will, of course, uh, know how to check what is faster or slower in future, because I will teach you. Uh, but for now, just believe me, it's a faster way to extract things. So if there are many items inside, you should use the thing that I will show you soon. So there is a method that is called items. And this is pretty cool method, because notice what it will return. We've got something here like that. So this method returned a view like that. Let's copy it here so we can see what it returned. Let's format it a bit. So we somehow changed a dictionary inside the dictionary into a list that have got tuples and each of the tuple consists of two values. The first value is a key, right? And the second value is a dictionary. Hmm, that's pretty cool. So how can we use the knowledge like that? Notice that we have once learned how to process something like that, right? We could invent name, age, and sex variables for each 
item inside the tuple that was inside a list. And we could easily show that. And again, we have the same situation here. Look, we have got a list outside. Here is the list outside. And inside we have got a tuple. A tuple. Here we have three values. Here we have only two values, right? The first value is the key and the second value is a dictionary. So some kind of advanced type. But we can process it very similar way. That's the cool thing about it. Mm. So look, we can get now into what? Into people items, which is that view here, right? And now we can invent variable names for that key here and for that dictionary here, right? Without any problems, right? So, for example, we can call it ID and the second thing is dictionary. So let's call it dictionary. So this is a key, it's a dictionary. And now we can, for example, print the ID, right? And then we can do something like that for each key inside dictionary because well we want to process now dictionary so we want to get into each key inside the dictionary we're gonna print key colon dictionary of key you can take this under the command Uh, and of course a colony. <laughs> sorry, really sorry. <laughs> the most important thing is that it works fine now, right? We can remove this print from here. As you can see, we have got ID, then the name John H sex from each person. So that's one way of doing it, that. You can do it also this way, but this is slower. If you understand this thing more, then use it, but only for small amount of very uh, records. So, because when you have got many of them, it's really gonna speed up using this method and you're gonna, you know, your program will run faster. So it's better to use this way, okay? Um, you will learn, as I said earlier, how to check what is faster, what is slower in future lectures and when we talk about the functions, about using functions from, from modules and other things like that. Don't worry. For now, you just need to understand it. So here we have got an ID, a dictionary, and we invented these variables for it, it, they are like a placeholders. They hold the place for the values like that, right? ID holds for each ID. Dictionary holds the place for each dictionary. And then we print each of that ID so we know which guy we're going to process. And then we invent the name, the placeholder for key inside each of the dictionary and then we show that key so we know what we are talking about we type the colon and then we access each of that value i hope you understand it if not don't worry try to you know get to that lecture um, for example tomorrow i'm sure that when you watch it at least two three times you're gonna get it without problems and as i said earlier practice 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 because practice is gonna make you be the best version of yourself. That's only a lesson and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask.